Spaghetti. It's happened to you, it's happened to me. It's the classic 3D printing failure that happens when something goes catastrophically wrong during a print. Obviously, anytime spaghetti happens, it's a huge mess, but also there's a lot of wasted material and wasted time. And spaghetti has the potential to damage your printer by getting stuck and caught up in the motion system, or it can ruin your nozzle by turning into a nozzle blob. Spaghetti is definitely something that should be detected by any good 3D printer AI, and the good news is that Quinley Vision is pretty good at detecting it. I'm Stephen McCulloch, and today's video is the fifth out of 14 on our video series covering the 14 different failure modes of Quinley Vision, our 3D printer AI supervisor. Today we'll talk about what spaghetti is, how Quinley Vision detects spaghetti, and how you can prevent it from happening on your 3D printer. So what is spaghetti? Like its name implies, spaghetti is thin, curly strands of filament that kind of look like noodles. And this happens when there's nothing for the printer to print on top of, and it just creates kind of a mess. Sometimes spaghetti can be on the build plate around a fairly nice looking printed part. Uh, you can have both printed part and spaghetti in the same print. Also, sometimes your print will detach from the build plate and kind of just get stuck in the mess of spaghetti. So sometimes spaghetti is mostly a pile of curly strands, but there's also like a printed part kind of embedded inside of it. When Quinley Vision looks for spaghetti, it looks for the classic curly lines covering the build plate randomly dispersed around in places where it shouldn't be. It also looks for thin, sharp edges with high contrast, so that can be wisps of filament going to nowhere. And also it looks for extrusion on top of nothing. So Quinley Vision can actually track the nozzle of the 3D printer, and if there's nothing underneath the nozzle for it to print on top of, but extruded filament is coming out, then it's a good indication that spaghetti is happening or about to happen. Quinley Vision will usually detect an issue with your print before it gets to the point where it turns into spaghetti. For example, if there's a corner lifting up due to warping, Quinley Vision will detect that before your part falls off because of the warping. It's still important though that we're able to detect spaghetti because what if that corner was on the backside of the print where Quinley Vision can't see from this camera angle? So spaghetti detection is kind of like the last line of defense for Quinley Vision. Hopefully it detects something before it gets to spaghetti, but even if it does, then it'll know that something's going wrong and stop your print. So why does spaghetti happen in the first place? The most likely reason is that your part has detached from the build plate. Now, there are a lot of reasons why a part can detach from the build plate. It doesn't just fall off on its own. We've trained Quinley Vision to detect these root causes so that a detach is unlikely to happen in the first place. Some of these root causes are warping, over extrusion, layer shifts, or a bad first layer. Quinley Vision can detect all of these root causes before a detach happens. But even if a detach event does happen, Quinley Vision has a specific algorithm that looks for a detach. So it looks for when the part has moved from where it used to be. Finally, even after a detach has happened, if Quinley Vision doesn't detect that, then your printer will create spaghetti. And then this is the last line of defense. Quinley Vision will detect the spaghetti and stop the print, preventing anything else from going wrong. There are a couple other reasons why your printer might create spaghetti. So another one is if your model requires supports and you didn't slice it with supports enabled, then your printer's gonna try to print on top of thin air and spaghetti's gonna happen. Another time spaghetti can happen is if your STL file isn't properly generated and causes issues in the slicer, then your printer can do moves that don't make any sense and that'll create spaghetti. So what can you do to prevent spaghetti from happening in your prints? Well, usually it's a matter of your part falling off the bed. So one thing to make sure you have dialed in is your bed adhesion. And that usually stems from your first layer. So make sure your first layer is printing really reliably. And to do this, I like to slow my first layer down all the way down to 10 millimeters per second and print it with a really thick layer height and line width. Next thing to do is just make sure that the temperatures that you're using for your bed and for your nozzle are appropriate for your, your material. And you might need to bump up the temperatures a little bit on the first layer just to make sure that it sticks really well. And finally, consider using a brim on parts that are tall and skinny, because when the nozzle moves up, it has a tendency to knock over parts that aren't too well adhered to the build plate. And to prevent spaghetti from happening due to a lack of supports or a bad STL file, just make sure to check the print preview in the slicer that you're using. So if you want to be able to detect spaghetti, as well as 13 other different 3D printing failures, check out our Quinley Vision demo. The link is in the description. So that's all for today. Remember to drop a like and hit subscribe if you haven't already. 
and maybe recommend this video to a friend who seems to always wake up to a pile of spaghetti. Anyway, thanks for watching. My name's Steven, and I'll see you in the next one.